Hi, everyone. My name is Kim Brown, and I am the Library Media Specialist at North Reading High School. And this video is going to give you an inside look at how the High School Media Center supports student learning. The intended audience for this video is parents and caregivers of students who currently attend North Reading High School. So in order to get started, I'm going to share my screen with you, and then we will continue. So the first thing I'd like to do is just share an image with you, just to sort of give you an idea of what a 21st century media center looks like and the types of activities that go on. Um, some people have the mistaken idea that the word media center is just a fancy term for a library, when in fact, libraries have evolved into media centers. And so the materials that are provided in a media center go far beyond just print materials and uh, databases, which is what most people are used to. In addition to those things, you'll see a lot of collaborative work going on in a media center and a lot of hands-on instruction. Um, so the image that you see here is just some examples of the typical types of activities that you'll see on a daily basis going on inside North Reading High School's media center. So before I dig any deeper, I just want to give you an idea of what a licensed school librarian does. And the information on this slide was actually taken from a web page uh, produced by the Massachusetts Teachers Association. So first things licensed school librarians do is they teach information literacy skills to students. So not just the ability to search for information, but also to look at that information and evaluate it, evaluate its currency, evaluate its accuracy, evaluate the reliability. So that's one thing. Um, licensed library media specialists also collaborate with teachers in the building on lessons. They provide students and teachers with individual research instruction and they also curate a collection of materials, print, electronic, um, that are um, supporting the entire school curriculum. Uh, licensed librarians also provide appropriate resources and make sure that they are meeting the needs of all students. So you might be wondering how the Media Center supports remote learning. And before I even show you the Media Center website, I'd just like you to understand that the resources that you're going to see on the Media Center website are not things that are new. Uh, they're not things that have been created just to support the current school closures. These are things that have been available to students for quite a while now. Um, but now, even more than ever, I encourage you to uh, get your students using the resources that are available here. So let's take a look at the North Reading High School Media Center website. And this is the homepage of the Media Center. And right now it has information uh, talking about the current school closure. It has a link to North Reading Public Schools homepage. Uh, information on Dr. Daly's Twitter account, and also gives you a link to the North Reading Public Schools extended learning website. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute, but I just want to show you here. On the left hand side, you have a navigation tool that allows you to scroll and see all of the different pages that are available for students and teachers and parents and caregivers um, on the Media Center website. One thing to know is that you'll see that the titles of the different departments match the information that is located in the program of studies for North Reading High School. So students are very familiar 
with looking through the program of studies to decide what courses they're going to take. So each department is listed in the same way. So for example, uh, it used to be called business education and the name has now been changed to digital learning and entrepreneurship. So on the Media Center website, it reflects that change. So uh, a few things I just want to point out to you. One thing is that there's a page with a bunch of different how-to videos and direction sheets. And I would encourage you and your students to uh, visit that page to learn more about some of the resources that are available through Boston Public Library. Uh, Boston Public Library allows people to uh, get an e-card. And anyone who is over the age of 13 that lives, works, or owns property in Massachusetts is able to get that e-card. And there are a bunch of really good resources available uh, once you have that e-card. So I would encourage you to explore that particular page and view some of those videos. So there's a page here that shows all of the databases that are available to students and teachers. And when I click on this, it brings you to a page that shows you all of those databases. And what's nice about this is that when you mouse over any one of these, it gives you a little bit of a description of what types of things you'll be you'll be able to find by searching in those databases. So in a future video, I'll be going over information about how to search the databases, the benefits of using the databases. But I just wanted to make you aware that there are all of these things here. And you'll notice these are all of the titles but then you could click on any one of these subject headings on the side and see what databases are specific for that particular uh, subject. Okay, so let's continue on. Um, another thing I'd like to point out to you is if you have a student who is getting ready to get their Massachusetts driver's license, North Reading High School has a partnership with drivingtests.org and students have the ability to take free um, practice tests from the website. So that's something that you might want to know about and encourage your student to um, use. So other things that you might want to know, um, I'm going to go down to science, technology, and engineering and use this as an example. So I mentioned that one of the things that library media specialists do is collaborate with teachers. So this page is the homepage for science, technology, and engineering, and shows you the different resources that are available here, um, the different databases. You know, if you scroll down, um, additional resources that are available, websites, citation tools, and you'll notice too that there's a little arrow here. Let me scroll down, and you'll see um, that it says Renewable Energy Sources, Ms. Kerrigan 2020. So this was a project that Ms. Kerrigan and I were going to do with students just prior to schools being closed back in March. So Based on the assignment that she gave her students, we came up with uh, a bunch of tasks that students had to complete. So my job was to provide resources to students. And the reason for that is to give students the opportunity to spend more time doing actual researching and learning and less time actually searching, trying to figure out what resources to use. So you'll see that there are a bunch of different things on the page. So there are databases, there are websites and ebooks. And this is an example of some of the things that are available uh, by having a Boston Public Library card. And then at the very bottom, you'll see stuff on citing sources. So this is just a quick overview of what is available through the Media Center website. 
Um, hopefully you've noticed that on every page, there's a little banner that says, have a question, need help locating something. And it gives a link to not only my email address, but also um, a phone number for the Library Media Center. And that number can be used by students to text if they have questions that they would like some help with. So let's continue on. And I'm gonna go back to the home page, and I want to show you the NRPS Extended Learning website. So the thing to know about the resources that are on the Extended Learning website is that there are a lot of ed tech companies that came forward once schools were being closed across the country and offered their services and the products that they have available for free as a goodwill gesture. And also so that, you know, hopefully they could encourage uh, schools to think about once we reopen, um, paying some money to be able to use some of these services. So it's a great opportunity for students and teachers to try out some additional resources that we normally wouldn't have access to. So on this homepage, hopefully you've seen this before, but on the homepage, there are a bunch of different things. And right now I am on the high school page. If we scroll all the way down under K-12 library media resources, I'm on the high school page. And what you'll find here are a bunch of vendors that have provided us with access to free eBooks and audiobooks uh, for the time that school is closed. And you'll notice that some of these have login information. Um, some of them are free until the end of June, some are free until August, but it's a great place for students to go to find more materials. Uh, there are a lot of electronic resources. So if students have research projects, these are additional resources in addition to those databases um, that are already available through the Media Center. And you'll notice that each one has the information that you need, uh, usernames, passwords, expiration dates, and then just a little blurb that tells you about the different databases. The other thing that you'll find on the NRPS Extended Learning page is a link to the Flint Memorial Library's resources at home. So these are things, some of them are things that are, are already on the North Reading Public Schools Extended Learning site, and some are additional, additional resources. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, Danielle Masterson, who is the head of youth, servant, youth and children's services at the public library, works very closely with uh, the high school uh, so that we are providing uh, overlapping services for students. Okay, so let me jump back into our slideshow. And I would just like to end with the idea that if you have a question, you need help locating something, uh, things that you know would support your students' learning, or even if you have an interest in using some of the resources uh, for yourself and for your own information needs, please feel free. You can email me or you can text the Media Center and I will be happy to help you get those questions answered. So hopefully this little video was helpful for you. Thanks and goodbye.